All right, homesteader family. So I'm here working on the fence. And I just made a lot, a lot of progress because I went ahead, I took the string line, and I got all these T-posts put in uh, like I was showing in the previous video. You can see all the slanted T-posts. I got all the T-posts pounded in all the way halfway up there. And now it's going to be coming back and getting all the posts wire tied. And each post just working my way down. And then, of course, now that I have the fence up, you can see right there in the middle, the fence is split. I'm going to have to uh, wire tie all that together because uh, it didn't end on a post. But now that I have the T-posts in the ground, I can go ahead and pull all these T-posts that were holding the fence. So um, I had it pushed out, if you didn't watch the previous video, so I could run the string line. Because without the fence being pushed out, it was pushing the string line. I couldn't get a straight line. And now that I had the T-post straight down in the ground, pound it down, I can go ahead and release all these because the T-post is going to hold the fence back. And once I get done pulling all these T-posts, I'll go ahead and I'll pull the string line from the corner, move it down to two or three T-posts from the end, and go ahead and take the string line out another 50, 60 feet. And work on pounding more T-posts down and just making tons and tons of progress. So it's a slow and steady uh, process, uh, especially by myself. But I can only do so much. And when you're doing all this, it is what it is. So I at least got the first 100 feet of fence done. And uh, I'm going to go from there. So got all the goats out here eating. All the other goats are out walking around down by the feeder. And of course, all the dogs are out over there hanging out by Pop. And I'm going to get back to work. So I'll talk to you guys later.